We got it on DaveRamsey.com for fourteen ninety nine, which is a bargain. This is like a major hardback book, like a twenty six or twenty eight dollar book or whatever. You know, big deal. And it is a big deal. One point three million copies say that the book is. You just don't sell that many unless it's good. And uh, then we've got the special going, the Love and Respect book, the Total Money Makeover book. That would be mine. Our red designer envelope system. That would be for her, dude. You can't carry that. You would look weird. And all for twenty nine ninety five. That's sixty seven dollars worth of stuff. Speaking of books and gifts, when you were here last time, you talked about putting a gift beside the chair, or Christmas gift, or a Valentine's Day gift, or whatever. Talk about that. Yes. Well, and I and I will comment on that. But I was thinking, even women might think, what is this respect thing? And uh, uh, I say, have you ever written a card to your husband? And you may have done it even on Valentine's Day. And uh, but he's not going to seemingly get as energized by it as you would. And uh, women say, yeah, that happens all the time. You know, she'll give a card and then come into his office, home study, whatever. And where's that card I I wrote? We, and then she looks at the waste can and there it is. You threw it. You threw it in the waste can. Well, I read it. I read it. I got the message. Thank you. And I say, what what if you were to write a Valentine's card to your husband that he wouldn't throw away? And and I see across drugstores this kind of sign. Beyond your words of love, say it his way. The card he'll keep. Hmm. As I said before, your husband, I believe, would die for you. I really do. Uh, men feel that responsibility. They're not wanting to die, but the truth is they would die for you. Men feel that deeply. So here would be what I call a respect card. Use your ter- term of endearment, dear Poochie Poo. I, <laughs> I, I was thinking of you today. Poochie Poo? <laughs> really? <laughs> Isn't that what your lovely yeah, wife called yeah, you? Yeah, I came up yeah, last that's week. Right. Yeah. Dear Poochie Poo Dave. <laughs> But use your term of endearment and say, I was thinking of you today, that you would literally die for me. That is an overwhelming thought to me. Thank you. And then sign it this way, ladies, with all my respect. Don't use the word love, please, trust me. With all my respect, and then say, the one who still admires you. That would be the perfect Valentine's card, and he won't throw that away. Oh, he might frame it. Exactly. Well, he'll put it on his desk at the work, and then some guy will come in and say, Oh, your wife got you a little card for Valentine's Day. And then he picks it up and reads it and goes, Does she have a sister? <laughs> <laughs> he brings the trophy back. That's You're the right. man. Yeah. But you, back to your idea, the, the gift. You know, wife gets on the scale January 10th, and she's put on 10 pounds, and she comes to her husband and says, I can't believe it. I feel fat. I feel ugly. put on all those pounds from the New Year's parties and before that the thanksgiving meals the you know the christmas time i i feel fat i feel ugly i have nothing to wear <laughs> he listens because he was trained in the 90s <laughs> <laughs> but he goes to the the bookstore and the lead book is dieting for day's woman oh this would be a great gift of course every woman out there right now may be pulling off the side of the road and about to crash into a telephone pole but he sees the subtitle post-holiday menus so he says to himself, menus, is this a cookbook or a diet book? So he, di- he decides to buy it because he, he says it's, it's, it's a cookbook. And he brings it to her, and he has this moment where he thinks he's a Cape Canaveral. She goes ballistic. <laughs> with off. And on the way up, she grabs her pink megaphone and screams into his blue hearing aids, you men have two brains, two brains. One's lost and the other's out looking for it. <laughs> Now, why would she do that in response to that gift? Because women process things through the pink grid. And she hears this message. I don't accept you. I don't approve of you. And I don't love who you are unless you look like a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. And that's what your daughter-in-law, that's what your daughter, that's what your wife hears. And that's why Valentine's Day can be a very problematic issue, not because men are buying their wife's diet book, but because she hears a message that she may think that isn't being sent. So you forget Valentine's Day and you think it's no big deal. If she forgets it for me, I'm not going to be upset. Well, yeah, you're not upset if she got you a diet book either. She brings you a diet book and you say, hey, thanks, what's for dinner? (laughs) You know, it's just that quick. The flip side, though, Dave, is that she goes to the bookstore and she sees this book on marriage and she buys it. This is a third marriage book that she's purchased for the two of them to read in the last 12 months. She brings it home. She devours it. She highlights in yellow all the things for him to read and sets it on a stand as a gift for him to read. He comes in and thinks, oh, no, this is a third book she's purchased for the two of us to read. First two books, we got huge fights. If I say anything to her about the marriage, I get in trouble. But if I don't say anything about the marriage, I'm going to get in trouble. But if I don't say anything, I'm going to get in less trouble. So he stonewalls. Now, why? Because she wants to deal with her stuff. She values the marriage. She values him. Doesn't he value the marriage? Doesn't he value her? Doesn't he want to deal with his stuff? 
Well, ladies, he hears a message, and that message is this. I don't accept you. I don't approve of you. I don't respect who you are, Buster, unless you change right now. Here's what we have to understand. God made us male and female. We are pink and blue, not wrong, just different. And we each have vulnerabilities in an area that the other has natural strengths. Men don't struggle with weight issues or body image issues like women do. So it's so easy for us, based on our natural strengths that God gave to us, to pass judgment on our wife who he's allowed to have vulnerabilities. And when it comes to issues of emotionality, women have to look face-to-face, talk about feelings. They're comfortable in the ocean of emotion, as the University of Washington says. Feel very comfortable in, in talking things through and ventilating. But, it, but she doesn't hear this ultimately as a message of disapproval because she really thinks he's the one that needs to approve, improve. So at a certain point, your son, your father, your husband, men begin to hear a message that you're not intending to send. And that's why we have to understand this love and respect message. And I will also say, when she feels unloved, gentlemen, she's going to end up calling you a brainless idiot. It's going to feel disrespectful to you, but it's because she's threatened at the core of her being, and you've got to trust her heart. And when your husband shuts down in that third marriage book, it isn't because he doesn't love you. He would die for you. He hears a message that you don't approve of who he is as a human being. The same dynamic happens when it comes to money issues. If we don't understand what it is contributing to the deflating of the human spirit of our spouse, we're going to miss it and miss it big time. And we will dismiss them as childish because they're shutting down on issues that don't bother us. Uh, you can just play that over and over about 26 times and you'll have the marriage thing down. My goodness. All right. 